We have reached the end of the season now and winning one of these two games that we're playing today will see us crowned as champions. But of course nothing is written in stone and we have lost two of our very key players for the final few games. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to Rocking All Over the Globe, Part 47, Club 4, Coritiba here in Brazil. And as you can see from the table on the left-hand side here, we are pretty much home and dry. There are just four games left to play and we are 12 points clear of Atletico and that means that should we win one of today's two games, then we will be crowned as champions of Serie B and we will be set to move and be promoted as champions to Serie A. It has been a more comfortable ride this season than I thought it was going to be. When we first began playing, it was clear to see from the attendances that we were actually a very big fish in what is a very small pond and we should be devouring all the opposition below us. And that is what we have done. I do suspect it's going to be a different kettle of fish, though, when we arrive in Serie A. And so we come to the two games today. We will be playing away to Juventud, who are currently in 10th place. It's a game that we really should be winning. And then if we don't beat them, we will have a home game against Tom Bense, and that really should be a game that we should be winning. They also, though, are in 6th place, and they do have an outside chance of promotion, but it's pretty slim. We should be able to secure the championship at some point today. But before we go into what's been happening on the pitch. If you are a brand new visitor and you like FM content and you love to see people suffer playing this game, I can definitely tell you you are in the right place. So why not hit that subscribe button and click the bell and you will be updated when future videos in the series are uploaded. And why not hit that like button and leave a comment because likes and comments are what drive the algorithm to push the video out to people who've not yet had the chance to view videos from the channel. And so let's have a look at what has happened on the pitch since you were last with us. And when you were last with us, you saw us beating Chayera at home by three goals to nil. It was a very comfortable victory, that. And it meant that we went 12 points clear of Atletico in second. And then we followed that with an away trip to Sport Recife. And we beat them also by three goals to nil. And it is here that you can see the difference between the attendances. And we have an attendance of 32,000 against 10,000 or even less for all the other teams in this division. So we are a much better team than pretty much all the other teams in this division. But we are going to find life a little bit more difficult when we get to Serie A. And then we had a home game against Gurani FC and we beat them by two goals to one, which brings us to today's games against Juventud and Tom Bense. And we should be getting the three points from this that we need to make us champions. And hopefully we'll do that very quickly against Juventud today. We will be going into the game without two of our best players. And in terms of current injuries, we still have five players injured. There are a lot of injuries in this league and it does take its toll on the players for some reason and we are struggling in terms of getting players fit. We have recently lost Cumelo and Raquelmi, two of our best players, and currently we still have Pedro Enrique out with a bruised thigh. Kumalo, he has fractured ribs and is out for the rest of the season now. Raquelmi has picked up a fractured lower leg. He is also out for the rest of the season. Cominetti has knee tendonitis and is still going to be out for about another week and then Leanko has a hip injury and is expected to be out probably now for the rest of the season. The injuries have been always there and it has been a struggle to keep players fit. I wonder if it is something to do with playing in Brazil. In the game against Guarani we were officially promoted and the board did set the transfer budgets. And unfortunately, it's not great news. Going into the top league in Brazil, we were only given eight and a quarter million pounds to spend. But we have had a big increase in our wage budget by almost a hundred grand. Our committed spending, though, would take it down to 191,000. So we would have around about 160,000 in the wage budget. It's this small transfer budget that I worry about. But perhaps the 111 million pounds that Drobrowski has on against his name and his minimum release fee might come into play. Who knows? We do only get 70% of the transfer revenue, so I don't see this as being an easy transfer window. And I think we might have to develop younger players and put younger players on the
the bench as we go into this brand new season. We shall have to see. But for now, we have to focus on trying to win the championship here in Serie B. And we have every chance of doing that today. We have to go and play away at Juventud first. I'll go and get the team ready. Let's go and kick some balls. And so we come to one of the final games of the season. And if we win this game today, we will skip to the last game of the season and we will tie it all up. But if we don't win today, we will play the next game in the schedule. And the team for today is Raphael William in goal with Dembrowski, Silva and Freitas at the back. Cordova and Valdo will be the wing backs with Otuesta and Makona or Makwena in midfield. Boschilla, Kardec and Perotti will play up front. This is a good team. <laughs> and we, although we are missing two of our best players in Kumala and Rakelmi, this is a good team. <laughs> and it is a team that we should be relying on to get the three points here. And I want these boys to go out there and get the three points today, take the pressure off and lift the trophy at the end of the game. And hopefully we will get to see the trophy being lifted. Cordova tries to get down the left but can't and um, it is going to be Juventud who are looking to counter-attack are going to attack first are we going to win the trophy here today or are we going to be denied are we going to have to wait for that moment when we lift the trophy. I'd like to think it is today and that we are going to see the trophy but you never know what is going to happen and we are a little bit under the cosh at the moment and there's a pass into the centre and it's headed over the crossbar and we're not doing so well at the moment but hopefully that's just a blip we will hopefully gather some possession we have not had any of the ball in the first 10 minutes it's getting a little bit better and hopefully we will now settle down and um, we have also created an opportunity now as we've come back slightly into the game. But it's still nothing yet to play for. I wonder what would happen if there is a draw here and um, we would go 13 points clear. Atletico would have four games left. A draw actually would be enough for us to lift the title. I'd like to get a win just to make sure, but I think a draw would be enough as Cordova is looking to get to the byline. He can't. He f turns, finds McQuayna, gets a cross in. Lovely cross. And Kardic has put it in. Kardic, who scored two goals in his last game, continues with his form. It's Juventud nil. Kuritibu won and we are flying again and at the moment we are the champions and it's a lovely cross by McQuayna and brilliant header at the back post by Kardic and we are in the lead and suddenly although we are getting shots on it we're not getting them on target and um, we are the better team at the moment but that's not to say that we will win this game if we don't get our sh more shots on target. Because, as we know, it's not going to take much for the opposition to get back into this game. Just like what might happen here. <laughs> as they are coming forward yet again. And looking to get a chance. And they have scored. And that is what happens. If we don't take our chances, they will equalise. And they have done. But the referee is checking for offside. I think it will count. I think he's onside. And the goal is awarded. It is 1-1. This is not what I was hoping for. And they just... Well, we just haven't played well. <laughs> and they took us apart, threaded a pass through, and they are now level. But I think, as things stand, we are still going to win the championship. And um, we don't need to see that. We know. I knew he was onside. You get a sense of it. Although we've been the better team... It's just not happening for us and they need to do better. I'm going to shout at them and demand more. They've got to be doing better than this. We have had most of the game. Possession has been fairly equal, but it's just we are not getting our shots on target. And unless we do... And that was a foul referee, was it? But we've won the ball back. Can we get this ball back down again? It's come inside. It comes to Dombrowski. Dombrowski coming forward. He looks for McQuayna. McQuayna looks for Freites. Cordoba, who's picked up an injury. This is unfortunate. All our left-backs seem to be getting injured. Lovely cross into the box. And Perotti, this time, has headed it into the corner. And it is now. Juventud 1, Coritiba 2 we are back in the lead and again, once again a lovely cross by Cordova 
and unfortunately he has picked up an injury. It looks pretty serious, and we're going to have to take him off at half time. He's um, struggling, really struggling, and um, I've only got one <laughs> wing back left on on the left, and uh, I need to go and make that change now. And so I have brought on Victor Luiz. He is the last player I have left who's capable of playing at left wing back. He's quite old at 34, but hopefully he'll do a good job for the last few games and um, I'll tell them that I, I believe that they weren't bad. They can do better, that they have the ability to win this game. And we should be, in all fairness, they are in 10th. We are a much better team than they are and we are showing it on the pitch we're just not being clinical enough in front of goal although our front players are playing extremely well it's our defense that perhaps has let us down a little bit today and as we come up towards the 60 minute mark i have to start thinking about making some changes but we do have a corner and it's at the wester who will fire in the corner probably to the near post and that's what we normally do as the ball is fired into the near post it's headed over the crossbar by freitas and it remains 2-1. We remain ahead. We are still looking like we will be crowned champions at the end of this game. I think it's probably a good time now to go and make a couple of changes. And so we have made our substitutions and we have given a game to 17-year-old Alithan Olivero as he is possibly one of the hopes that we have for the future. Just 17 years old. He scored a few very good goals this season in his uh, seven or eight appearances. Here is Boschilla coming into the box though and fires it over the crossbar. That was a long way from the target and uh, I don't think that... Uh, he possibly could be one of the players actually who could be leaving in the summer. Um, with the number of attacking mid options that we have, it's a possibility. We do have to raise some money in the summer, I think, with only eight million being given to us as a transfer budget. But as we are coming up now to the last few minutes of the game, we are still 2 1 ahead. If we can just hold on to this now, we will win the championship. And it's going to come out to Moreno. Moreno, who's come on for Macuena. Macuena, who's looked looked extremely good since joining the club and here's Valdo Valdo to Freitas Freitas looks for Naldi Naldi all the way back to Philippe Silva he finds Freitas Freitas looks for Victor Luiz to Moreno this is nice football Victor Luiz on the left hand side hasn't started the game extremely well he's on a 6.5 not doing particularly well but there's a lovely slip pass into Moreno Moreno finds Boschilla and Boschilla has made it 3-1 and that is it the championship is won. We have won the title. We cannot be caught now. And we are going to add another trophy to the trophy cabinet. And that is the Serie B in Brazil. And this team, Coritiba, have done me proud this season. It's a title we should have been winning any day of the week. But we've done it in style. We have not lost, I don't think, since I arrived. It's been a very comfortable ride. There's going to be one more highlight. <laughs> and uh, we have won the ball. Well done, Boschilla. Boschilla finds Naldi. Are we going to go out in style with another goal at the end? Let's go. Let's do that. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. And you can see that the crowd is quite sparse here at uh, Juve, Juventud. And um, the ground is, is very, very empty. Um, compared to how the ground is when we play at home. Here is Philippe Silva, just holding on to the ball now. There's just a minute left. Freitas finds Moreno. Moreno to Boschilla. Lovely, lovely control play. Boschilla, can he find someone in space? He finds Perotti. Perotti all the way back to Naldi. Naldi at the base of the midfield. It's a lovely pass and Valdo's in space. Valdo into the middle. Oliveira, the 17-year-old, has tucked it away. The referee is going to check for offside. I have a funny feeling he might be offside. And it's not. It's going to be given. And it's lovely to see another young 17-year-old getting on the score sheet. What a good player that boy is going to be. Uh, maybe even one day as good as Kumela. Who knows? And what if we had those two young 17-year-old and 18-year-old playing at attacking mid? What a combination that would be. What potential that would be and the game is coming to an end now and we have won another trophy and we are about to lift the Serie B trophy and well deserved absolutely fabulous performance by this team they have done 
absolutely brilliantly all season. Well, at least until after I arrived, that's how I'm going to measure it. And here we go, lifting the trophy. What a proud moment. And there it is. We have won the Serie B title. Brilliant performance, fantastic results, and what a team. But now we have a lot of things to think about whilst we celebrate this title, giving us our 13th title on this, on this journey. We have a lot to think about now in terms of going into Serie A. It is not going to be so easy anymore. Absolutely brilliant, guys. We are the champions. You deserve your success. And I'm not quite sure what to do now. If What I might do now is just play through to the end of the season. And we will call it a day and we'll wind the season up from there. There are three games still to be played. I don't think it's necessary to play the final game of the season. I will just go through the final games of the season and then I will let you know how it ended. And I'll get back to you once we're done. We've won the title now and there's nothing more to see. So I'll just play through and I'll be right back and update you with how the season finished. And so we have completed the final three games and I did rotate the team a great deal and that kind of backfired. But we have we were champions and we should be rotating at that point. Injuries still kept coming in, so I was happy that we were rotating the team. We lost to Tombense by two goals to one. That was a very rotated team. And then against Goyas, who were, kind of, who were in fourth place at the time, we beat them by a goal to nil. And then we drew with Vittoria to end the season. And it has been an excellent, excellent campaign. And although we didn't play particularly well in the Cup, competitions we did what we needed to do and that was to get promoted to Serie A and so it's probably going to be an extremely busy transfer window and we already have one problem with the goalkeeper William who has decided that um, he doesn't want to be the backup goalkeeper he wanted to be the first team goalkeeper I wasn't prepared to actually allow that to happen I don't think he's good enough in the air for Serie A to be the first team goalkeeper and so I, I think there are going to be a number of problems as we go through this this transfer window that is about to happen but that is it for this video if you are brand new to the channel and you like fm content and you love to see people suffer playing this game then i can tell you you are definitely in the right place so hit that subscribe button click the bell and you will be updated when future videos are uploaded to the channel and drop us a like because likes and comments is what helps the algorithm to push the video out to people who've not yet had a chance to see us because we simply have not been recommended to them by YouTube. So give us a like and help that to happen. And all that remains to be said now from a very happy manager and champions here at Coritiba is all that remains to be said now. Stay safe, take care, and we'll see you in the brand new season in Serie A.